Welcome back, everybody. Anthony Sequera here with the Cisco Learning Network, and I am so thrilled that you're joining me for what is now a part two in our look at the OSPF router ID. Had a great question. That question pointed out, hey, Anthony, look, you in the previous demonstration, in the previous video on OSPF router ID, you went ahead and you used an IP address that was numerically higher than all of the IP addresses in your particular scenario. Well, is that the magic? No, it's not. Because look at this. If we look carefully in this slide, we will go ahead and we will note that it clearly spells out for us here that the router ID command, look at this, the router ID command is an override of the default behavior when it comes to our OSPF router ID. Yeah, this is an override, my friends. So this router ID is all powerful. Now I know, I know, I don't expect you to trust me, right? I don't trust myself half the time. How are you gonna trust me? So if we do a show IP OSPF neighbor here in R2, we see the 100, 100, 100 .1 is the router ID value of our R1 device. Let's jump over to R1 and let's do a show IP route command. Uh, I'm sorry, let's do a show IP interface brief command. And when we do that, we see there's two loopbacks, one, 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 10, 10, one. There's a fast ethernet at 10, 10, 10, one. So where's that 100, 100, 100 address? Ah, well remember, let's do a show run pipe include router ID. Remember, we set that particular command, we set that router ID with the router ID command. Okay, now again, here led to the student's question. That router ID is indeed a higher number than all of these other IP addresses. Let's do this. Just to prove that it is indeed a powerful override no matter what it's set to. Let's go in and let's get rid of the loopback. So I'll say no interface loopback zero. And bang, that interface is gone, magic. We'll do our show IP interface brief and now the 1.1.1.1, obviously a very low IP address, is gone from the device. We'll go in to OSPF and we'll say router ID one, 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 setting it really low, we'll go and clear IP OSPF process. We'll say, yes, we want to clear it. And if the router ID is now set to that 1.1.1.1 value, we know that router ID truly overrides, that command truly overrides whatever behavior the device may otherwise do. Show IP OSPF will show us our router ID. Right up top there, I'll go ahead and highlight it. We can see it did indeed reset to the 1.1.1.1 address. So we can do this. We can say the router ID is derived from the highest IP address on your physical interfaces. Unless you have active loopback interfaces. Now it's going to be the highest IP address from a loopback interface. Unless you use the router ID. Use the router ID and this overrides all of that other behavior, thus its power, and now I think we have truly mastered the router ID command in OSPF and for that matter, the way in which the router ID is derived in OSPF. But should you have questions, we've got your answers. So please don't be shy. Let us know what questions that you might have about this and we'll make more videos for you. Thanks for watching everybody.